All right, so you guys seem to really enjoy my less than $100 video. A lot of people talked about how they enjoyed it. It was more relatable, lower budget, and trust me, I've been there. One of the best parts about the hobby is I think no matter your budget, you can invest, you can have fun, and, and I think that's great. But today we're gonna make it even more challenging. We're gonna be doing a $10 budget. What can you really invest in with $10? And at the same time, bringing some other videos back that you guys really liked, and those are my star stock videos. I think if you do have that small, small budget, star stock is, is really the place to be. So I'm gonna get on there and look at some buy low basketball type potential breakout players for next season that I think are worth a shot under $10. I have to give the obvious disclaimer as always. These are lottery tickets. You're not investing in your Kevin Durant, your LeBron James, your Jerry Wests. These are cards under $10. So it's gonna be young, exciting guys who are very, very unproven. That's why they're under $10. But we've already seen bull bull stuff popping off. Malik Monk popping off. That's interesting and I, I just think it's fun. This stuff is fun at the end of the day. So I'm gonna go on Starstock and make some offers, see how we do. So boom, we're on Starstock and the first player we're gonna be making offers on is actually Terrence Mann. He had some pretty good performances in the playoffs. I believe he scored almost 30 points and his stuff definitely went up, but now it's it's a lot more affordable. Let's go to his prism, I think. The thing about him is because he wasn't drafted the highest, he doesn't have a ton of stuff. I guess you could look at, oh, the Optic Hollow is actually interesting at that price. I might even maybe come back to that or his Mosaic Silver. Ooh, I kind of want to make an offer on the Optic Hollow. But you know what, actually, I'll, I'll go with the Prism just because it's cheap, you know, for the, for the sake of this video. $3.75, go down here. Look at the star stock A. I mean, it was as high at one point as $6. And that's the good news too, you know, $6. That's the good news about these type of cards is it doesn't take much for them for them to go up. You only need them to go up a dollar, 50 cents. And if you buy them, especially in multiples, you can do pretty well. So I'm gonna throw in a, I think it was 375, 380. I'll throw in a, a cheeky little bid there for Terrence Mann, Kawhi Leonard is not supposed to be playing this season. Patrick Beverly, Rajon Rondo, gone. So there's gonna be a big opportunity for Terrence Mann to, to play a little bit, get some buckets this year. And at $3.75, I think it's worth a shot. If anything, I think there'll, there'll be some preseason hype on this guy. Once the season gets a little closer, I think people are gonna be interested in him. The next guy is an interesting one that I think maybe people haven't thought of, and that is Devontae Graham. He was, at one point, he was a pretty hype name in uh, in Charlotte. I know a lot of people were buying a lot of his cards and also for the sake of this video, we're to keep it cheap, but feel free. I mean, if you guys wanna go for this these PSA graded ones, I think that's great and, and they're relatively affordable. But for the sake of this, we're gonna, we're gonna kinda keep it a little cheaper. His Prism 350. This Optic Shock is actually very interesting to me. Or the Silver, I would love Oh, the select is interesting as well. Uh, I would love to go for the silver. That's a little expensive. Hollow, they don't really have that much. Pink ice is interesting too. I think for the sake of this video, just to keep it quick guys, I'm actually gonna go for, I'll, I'll put in three offers actually, why not? We'll have a little bit of fun here. I'll spread it across a couple. $3.60, we'll offer that for Devante Graham on this one. Gonna go back. Let's throw in a bit on the shock too while we're here, might as well. Not too bad, $2 lowest offer. I mean, I doubt anyone will take this, but maybe they'll come down off theirs. $2.15. Select too. Select has been printed to death, unfortunately, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen with it now, but uh, it's definitely before it was it was a low pop one and we'll, we'll come in at 510 on, on this select right here. But I think with Devonte Graham, obviously he's in New Orleans now. Norma Alonzo, playing with Zion, it's all about eyeballs. I've said that before. There will be eyes on Devontae Graham. He's proved he can score. He's proved he's a legit NBA player. And I think playing with Zion, he has an opportunity to really, really get some people excited about him. I mean, he's still young. You know, this is only from 2018, his card. So at the current price point, I, I think it's worth a shot. And the great thing too, as always guys, if you are new, you haven't used Starstock, if you have that limited budget, if you sign up and you deposit at least $10, you use my code TRIKE415, they're gonna give you another $10 as well. So throw in 10 bucks, boom, you're already at 20. 
honestly, I just enjoy doing this. I'm excited now that basketball is coming around again, seeing Summer League, who's gonna pop off, who's gonna exceed expectations, and who are we gonna roll the dice on? Next one, I think this one is actually a little less of a risk. This is one of the top young players in the league. He is, and it's Bam Adebayo. I get that he's a center, but he's another one with the heat underachieving that has just gotten so, so cheap. I mean, I remember the days where on Starstock, you had to offer $30 for the optic of guys who, who barely played. And I'm gonna get it, you know, bid, let's go here, nine, $9.10 for a gold medalist, someone who's been in the finals, can guard multiple positions, is, is an elite player, young, still can improve, improving every day. I think that's worth it for me. Uh, I think also playing with Kyle Lowry, playing with a true PG more of the time, someone who makes his teammates better, that's just gonna be great for Bam. And you know, you can get his Prism, even the PSA 9. I mean, look at that, that's pretty cheap. There's other stuff you can look at on here. Um, I won't offer on the shock for now, just for the sake of the video, but I'd be interested to look at his other stuff as well, because I just feel he's gotten, I mean, he's gotten, he's just gotten too cheap at this point for the type of player Bam is. Next up is the last one until we have two like rookie flyers, like two players who just came off their rookie season. But for now, Jaron Jackson Jr. There was a ton of hype on him. You know, he was injured in the bubble at the beginning. He had some insane games. I mean, this guy is a almost a seven footer who can shoot threes at a super high clip, moves really fluidly. He has a ton of potential. Obviously it's tough coming off injury, but no one can deny, even though he's a big, Jaron Jackson Jr. is the type of player who, who gets people excited. And if we look at his prism right here, I have a feeling this has been a, a pretty far fall for him. Let's look at the star stock A. I mean, even in March, $44, wow. Even in April, $42. So, I mean, it's hard to say value when you're, when you're paying for such an unproven guy, to be honest, but at 25% of, of what he was even just a couple months ago, I think it's worth a shot. So we're gonna go 11 and $75. And I'm not 100% sold on this. I've been wrong before, trust me, and, and you don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm trying to kind of get ahead of this preseason hype that I think will be coming on some of these guys. And Jaron Jackson, for me, is a prime example. Um, it'd be nice to get an offering on a select. Oh, boom, $5. This is, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. At $5, this is, you know, fantasy, fantasy basketball at this point, daily fantasy. Have a little fun and, and see how they do. Anything else? Shock, uh, how much is the silver? Maybe it'll throw in a cheap one on the optic, $5. Yeah, I'll just stick to those two for now for Jaron Jackson. And last but not least is actually my first time looking at the rookies. I haven't done that before. And Patrick Williams is a guy who, who's really, really exciting to me. He's shown flashes. I think it'll be interesting. There's a lot of talent in Chicago now, so maybe he won't get as many touches, but maybe that'll really unlock his potential. The tough thing is to see, like there's just not that many of his prisms on here, so. Does this go down more? It, it definitely could. Uh, but for the sake of the video, I'll just, you know, $8 is worth a shot on him. I think you think about your SGAs, you think about some of these other type of players who really came onto the scene and outperformed what they did in their first year and then kind of elevated to these potential, I don't want to say superstars, but at least potential stars. I think Patrick Williams could be that type of guy. And the last one, I'm, I'm being honest, with these rookies, like I've seen enough of Jaron Jackson, I've seen enough of Bam Adebayo to know the type of player they are. With these guys, I haven't watched enough to know, but I think they are worth a flyer. Malachi Flynn, people have kind of, Kyle Lowry gone, and maybe he won't be a starter, but he's gonna have a much bigger opportunity. Someone's gonna have to score on that team. Pascal Siakam, struggling. A lot of people I trust, I have a lot of, I'm friends with a lot of Raptors fans. They say he's on that Fred Van Fleet trajectory. And if he can play like Fred Van Fleet in year two here, I think that's enough to get people excited. Same solid around that, that $3 mark. I don't know, I'll be honest with you guys, with these rookies, I mean, you saw what happened last year when it's the younger guys, your Hachimuras, your Garlands, it doesn't take a lot for them to, to really go. People are looking to speculate on these guys who are new in the league because you can't buy Kate Cunningham or Jalen Green cards. So this is basically the next best thing. So these are two guys who are cheap enough. 
just roll the dice on. But all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this Star Sock video. Try to keep it updated as the season progresses. Maybe see if these guys pay off. Look at some other different type of guys. I don't know. I think it's fun. But thanks for watching. We're going to keep the videos going.